So after conducting multiple experiments and uh, many tests and uh, just a complete and utter collection of data from many people, um, we have come to the conclusion of a new type of, uh, what, what should we call this here, a new field of study that is, has arose to the world. And uh, we call, like to call it the, the physics of Call of Duty, or Call of Duty physics for short. And uh, these physics are, um, in a sense, uh, apart from any other type of physics the world has ever seen before. Tro trolling moment right there, I saw him coming. Um, right here we've got the MG36 uh, light machine gun, search and destroy. That is a bong, I think. Well, I don't know, it's like a, it looks like something you smoke weed out of. But, I mean, is it like a candle? I mean, what's going on there? Anyone know? Because that was uh, something that was um, it, it was eating at me right there. But this gun in itself is a very difficult weapon to use. Um, any light machine gun in matter is a difficult weapon to use. And this, the, the, the style of play behind the weapon itself is much more conservative. You can call it campy. But I don't call it campy if you're not, if you're like, if you know the person's coming. I have a headset. I'm just starting to get into Sitra Pro. There's a Call of Duty physics moment for you. Why would you uh, put a perk into a game that can overwrite another perk? What's the, why would you make perks that can overwrite a perk? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Now, that's just embarrassing to get killed by that far away with a silenced light machine gun. But, I mean, it is what it is. And if you're going to use this gun, um... I, for some reason, got really used to the iron sights, and the iron sights really haven't bothered me, so I haven't really tried out, like, any other, like, sight lines, or sight lines, sights, um, but I do enjoy the silencer over anything else. I feel like it's, like, it's not a, it doesn't subtract anything or anything, and it's, like, it's well worth it, so I use the silencer, so I recommend that attachment, but back to what I was saying, is why is there perks that overwrite perks? Why, why does, why does that make sense to put a perk into a game and then have another perk that can overwrite it? And why is it only in the third perk category? Why doesn't Marathon over waste sleight of hand? If you have Marathon on, um, I don't even know how that would work, in all honesty. If you have Marathon on and you get killed, why can the other person pull his FMG9s really fast on you? Why is that possible? Why can he do that? You know, that's one thing that really pisses me off when it comes down to, uh, to, to uh, riot shields in this game. And um, I'm actually, I, don't, I haven't really gathered any ride shield gameplay, which is really disappointing because I have, I had one really good game where I just got a whole bunch of ride shield kills in search and it was a good game. Right here, I, I, first shot and everything, how does he win? How does he win that gunfight? I mean, my accuracy maybe towards the end was a little bit iffy, but I got the first shot off him right there. How is it even possible for him to kill me? I mean, for Christ's sake, he shot through the freaking, the concrete wall there. Look at all the bullet holes. He shot through, but yet he was able to kill me and I wasn't able to kill him. That's the weapon balance Call of Duty has to offer us. That's the physics behind what happens. I get the first shot off, and I lose. I feel that the only way you can win gunfights is either to have the uttermost surprise, like right there, that guy didn't know I was there, and he was just unprepared for what he had coming, or just simply the fact that you need to get the second bullet off and not the first one, all right? Because with a careful consideration, using crappy weapons and getting the first shot off does nothing. Is that the bomb? I think that's the bomb. Is anyone, it, it is the bomb. I don't think I saw that. But that's the bomb right there. Write it down. But I don't think I fully, uh, I, I think, have like seen it. It doesn't make sense. How come if you get the first ball off with a good gun, you automatically get the kill? It's like that. You for surely have the kill. But you use a, a gun that's not a top-tier gun like this gun or just any other submachine gun basically besides the UMP, uh, not besides, besides the MP7. Why is it that I get hit markers and or the guy ends up killing me? Alright, uh, um, there's a couple different instances here where the physics of Call of Duty comes into play. I don't even know, this gameplay kind of worked towards what I was going to talk about, but this guy was having fun with his trophy system all game. I don't know what he was really going for. That guy's using an ACR, so he automatically gets kicked out. Um, get get out. Can't have you in the kill cam anymore. You're an embarrassment to us here at Frost Clan. No, we don't use those weapons in pubs there. That's uh, that's like initiating Operation Tryhard. That's how you have fun in Call of Duty, guys. Um, you want to make sure that you're using the newbie guns possible and that you're doing the, gre the most campy antics I mean right here this is just being aware of your surroundings now in all honesty I should have moved up more uh, there is a guy that ends up coming from the right and taking out Corey now it was a flaw on my part I said I had his back uh, but I mean right there I don't know how he got away from me in the first place right there but I mean it the flaw is that when you're using guns like this you have to be more uh, conservative you can't rush with an LMG so you have to play it slow and when you're not using dead silence 
um, I mean, I don't even know, I don't even think really Dead Silence really, um, like right here I see him, and I don't know how, how he, how he got me there, I mean, watch the kill cam, look at his accuracy, he just, he's all over the place, but yet he manages to kill me, like, I don't get that, I mean, why is it that you can shoot someone in this game, and not, and you don't have to hit him to kill him, I mean, look, he doesn't even, like, he misses, like, three quarters of the bullet to the right of his head there, I mean, how does he, how does it, how are you able to get the kill when you don't shoot the person? I mean, the best thing ever is when you're watching a kill cam, search and destroy, someone's quickscoping, they quickscope, and they completely miss the person. They shoot to the right of their head or the right of their body, but yet he dies. The bullet kills him. But yet he clearly missed the shot with the crosshairs to the right. Or when, you're, or when I'm sniping, and I clearly have the crosshairs over someone, I pull the trigger, and either the bullet doesn't fire, and or... I missed somehow when the crushers were completely over him. Uh, and right here, another fail moment. This is the part where now I can, I, after watching this a few times, I can see how this guy killed me. But I really think that, no, honestly, I should have had the the kill. I get, I think I got the first shot off. And the only reason why I feel he was able to beat me out here, I heard him coming. How how did he avoid my bullets right there? How come he was so? Why is he? How does he move so fast? He didn't have Stalker Pro, I don't think. But how does he avoid my bullets? Right here, Call of Duty Physics. Corey almost lost that gunfight to FMG9s. So that was complete and utter luck that he was able to hit fire spray that guy with his FMG9s. Uh, look at this. He got the first shot off, but he almost died somehow. He got the first shot off and everything, but yet he almost was taken out by the FMG9s. How is that possible? Um, why do I feel that... I don't want to, like, just fling out uh, game developers here, but when I feel Infinity Ward, I feel that there's a, uh, see, there is a guy there. I wasn't crazy the first time I watched this, I've, when I played this. Um, th yeah, it, I don't want to, like, I don't like flinging out certain gaming, game developers for, like, their flaws and stuff, but I always feel that, um, since Final Warfare 2 in this game, there's always guns that are better than the other ones, and that stands such a better chance at getting kills, and, I mean, for me personally, if I were to use an ACR and MP7 every game, I would go over 10 kills for sure, and easily, we'd probably win every time. I mean, there's just no doubt that I wouldn't do that good. I mean, there's no doubt. If you've seen any games where I use MP7s or ACRs, I always get good scores with them. And But that's why I can't use those guns, though, because not only do I feel like... I don't want to say like I'm tr going to try hard, I just don't like using the guns that are overpowered for some reason. Like... I have more fun using these crappy guns and getting kills with them and pissing people off because then people get all mad and like, you're camping, you're doing this and that. It's like, no, I can't rush with this gun. Do you see how bad this thing is? I mean, look at that hip fire spray with the ACR. Look, that's bull crap right there. That is complete and utter bullshit. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to hear more about Call of Duty Physics, uh, come play with me and some friends uh, in search and uh, you will find out completely what Call of Duty Physics is and uh, the flaws of Call of Duty. It's like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's out there. You, you can find it really easy. But, um, that's it, guys. I'm gonna, either if they don't have this, this course in college when I get there, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna create it, and I'm gonna make millions because everyone's gonna take it because everyone's gonna want to know the science behind Call of Duty kills. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and um, hope you enjoyed.